I want to continue on a series of how I got today from being a 230 blob, right, so to speak, to 180 lean, right? Uh, and so basically, in the next few minutes, you're kind of going to learn more about one of the key ingredients that helped me along this pathway, and I continue to do so. It's kind of what helped Derek Jeter uh, along his success, uh, Hall of Famer, and uh, the founder of Domino's Pizza, right? Uh, become the success story it was uh, in the 90s or so, right? And eventually you'll kind of get to, you know, how this can help you succeed fitness wise, right? So let's kind of share screen and kind of start. And I'm gonna share my screen right now and kind of start this right here, okay? So basically this is kind of a, a backstory. This is where I used to be. I'm so embarrassed of how uh, out of shape I am. I, I don't really want to look at the camera, right? This is where I am today. Uh, you know, nice Photoshop picture, right? So this is what I actually look like. Anyways, but that's kind of how I got here, right? So how did that start? So let's take a step back and let's go to Derek Jeter, okay? So Derek Jeter was basically a five-time champion, um, you know, 20-year vet. And the real secret sauce about him isn't something like, you know, rocket science, because there's talented baseball players that, you know, are created uh, or, you know, are come out of the farm leagues and so forth every year, right? But why did this guy kind of rise to the top, right? So one little kind of point into a, uh, what his secret sauce was, was that he was a creature of habit, right? So, you know, reading his biography, reading his unauthorized biography, you kind of get a sense that like uh, of, you know, how he wakes up at the same time every day, he orders the same Starbucks order. Uh, and in the words of a teammate, right? Like he was absolutely fanatical about preparation, right? And he did the same thing every day, which was, you know, if it's work in the cage, his ground ball, batting practice, he never deviated, right? Uh, and so let's go kind of transition this to, uh, you know, a business side uh, in the Domino's founder, right? So. Tom Monahan was really kind of, uh, you know, a fanatic about consistency and routines, right? He basically founded a large pizza franchise, not off like how great the pizza was, uh, but more on the consistency of the offer, right? 30 minutes or your order is free, okay? And this was no Joe's Pizza for you guys in New York City. That, that's phenomenal, by the way. But he basically was so focused on the order uh, and the offer and the consistency in the systems and delivery that he was able to scale up this franchise, right? And become one of the largest players in the 90s, right? And so. His, uh, you know, uh, his motto was basically failure kind of shows you how to do something right. You don't get what you expect unless you inspect. It isn't enough to know what you want. You have to kind of plan for it and be consistent, right? So consistency, okay? So, uh, you know, I know it might be hard uh, to believe, but consistency can kind of play a huge role uh, in you getting leaner and, and jack, so to speak. Uh, it has a lot of, you know, far more reaching effects um, beyond nailing workouts, eating well, and seeing results, right? So let's kind of start with a simple habit, a super simple habit, okay? So at Sumo, we're currently having fitness coaches that we work with, I work with. Uh, and so this is kind of something we're doing very, very low tech, okay? Tracking your weight on a daily basis. Why do we do this? Is it tedious? Yes. But you can kind of see certain habits and certain things, right? So first off, you'll notice the trends uh, for the past 13 weeks are not just straight down, okay? You see kind of, you know, some gaps here and there, up and down, up and down, and what's going on here. So each kind of, you know, stage, you get some insights, right? So this is super low tech. This is not an iPhone app. We're just doing this, not for the sake of redundancy, but for the sake of accountability, right? And so what's interesting about it is when you start tracking the weight, you get to learn about different things that you can optimize, right? So simple thing, week two, get a digital weight scale, right? Uh, you know, <laughs> make some mistakes on, uh, you know, week six about kind of the refeed days and so forth, uh, you know, and then the biggest insight, you know, was week 12, which is I probably can't process um, bison meat or beef meat, right? And so beef, right? So that, that was a huge change maker. And that kind of enabled me to kind of break through, so to speak, uh, and continue on my journey. And, you know, a few things here. Listen, uh, this super simple habit, it, like, there's a reason why it works, okay? Like, it accomplishes accountability. I understand why health coaches want us to do this. It gets you thinking, okay, sh shoot, I have like a way in tomorrow. I can't be snacking or binging or eating crap, right? The night before, otherwise I'm going to get called out, right? And it gets a record that you can inspect and refine on it, like similar to what, uh, you know, Tom Monahan said at Domino's, right? And so if you're trying to improve anything, or if it's like you're, you know, advertising ROI, if you're a marketer, right? Or your workout habits, if you're in kind of the fitness space or sales generated, if you're kind of a, a closer, right? A simple tracker can kind of unlock a ton of value uh, beyond, you know, the simple benefits of, uh, basically, you know, unlock, you know, tend your waste. But the thing is, you have to do it, and it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's sometimes worth it, right? So that's all for today. Uh, just the power of consistency, how it helped Derek Jeter kind of get to where he is, and how it helped, uh, you know, Domino's Pizzas kind of scale up, right? Thanks for your time, guys. Talk to you soon. JD with Sumo.